Hey guys, Terry here, aka Lucrative Soldier, aka Terry Farmer Official on IG, bringing you a 42,000 mile update on the 2019 Subaru Forester Sport. Right now, I'm in my chill spot in the back of the soup while I hang out here with my kids at the skate park. So I figure I'd get in a quick little uh, review vid. If I ever get a little piece, they keep interrupting. But, uh, I'm gonna update you guys on where we are at here at 42,000 miles. Okay, so first we'll address the windshield issue. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about how well the new windshield replacement is holding up. And I will start by saying I'm very happy, very impressed with the replacement. Um, I think there's some improvement that they made. Um, I, I do often inspect it to, you know, stay on top of things and I've noticed maybe two very small chips um, I would say like less than a mil um, in size maybe 0.5 mil since I had a crack filler on hand I went on and filled them just to you know take preventative measures but even with that I would still say I think that the windshield is holding up a lot better than the original um, OEM windshield so again you know I don't know if they replaced it with a better quality or I'm just having better luck or my preventative measures are paying off but it's definitely holding up a lot better you know keep those fingers crossed and uh, I hope things keep going the same. I don't want to have to go back in for another replacement. Other than that, um, everything's been good. Um, one other thing I've come across was my reverse lights had stopped working. I assumed a fuse issue or a wiring issue. Um, wasn't sure of the one, so I checked my fuses, didn't really see anything. Um, they all looked good, but apparently I overlooked something. Um, because I took it into the dealer, had them look at it, and it was actually a fuse under the hood that had been removed. So I'm guessing sometime um, during one of my inspections, I must have put the fuse in the wrong spot when I put it back. So that was my fault. Um, so that really wasn't an issue. That was just kind of something I did wrong on my own. You know, when you're checking your fuses, my recommendation make sure you get them back in where they belong after you replace them so you don't have any issues so last time i took um the soup in for maintenance um i took it in for the oil change etc i have everything checked out and of course you know my oil change was 90 dollars, and i'm like we can do this ourselves um so the thing i was liking about the subaru is the location of the oil filter um, so that was a big plus for me and really like why not do it ourselves um, it's just so convenient you don't have to get on you know reach under the car for the oil filter or find it in a tight location etc things like that it's just like right up top easy to get to um, of course you still got to get under the vehicle to drain the oil but um, with the last oil change that I did I actually um, installed the Fumoto um, drain plug, which I'm excited for my next oil change <laughs> just so I can use it. So that's the only bad part is like the oil change you do to install it, you don't really get to use it. Um, but I'm excited. It's, it's like a quick thing, convenient, um, make oil changes even easier. Um, I can't wait to use it. Um, with the COVID going on. Oh, right, right, I didn't talk about the COVID. So you guys are probably wondering like, man, he went through all those miles so quick and now it's like taking forever to get to 42,000. Well, you know, the soup has been on quarantine and hasn't been going anywhere. So um, it took us quite a while to get up to 42,000. We finally did, um, you know, she needed a break. She's appreciating it. Uh, you know we're like barely driving at all now but <laughs> uh, you know she got a break we finally got to 42,000 miles did that on top of the oil change we went on and installed a two inch ready lift on her to be honest in my past I've had a lifted Ford excursion when I say lifted I meant lifted um, so when you're adding two inches to the soup you're like 
Is it lifted? Did it do anything? You know, it's, it, to me, it's, it's not very noticeable. Um, that You know, that's my opinion. I don't know. I, I notice when I've seen um, the lifted Foresters in the past or, you know, whatnot, um, I did notice. So, I don't, you know, I don't know if it's just me that can't really tell. Or maybe I need to go ahead and bulky up the... <laughs> bulky up bulk up the tires you know go a little bigger on wheels and tires or whatnot um to make the difference show so you know that's that's some more headed on down the line and we'll see how that goes but um so far um i mean i can't really say i'm loving the lift i, I haven't done anything i'm happy with it i'm excited because it's new but um i haven't taken it off road um i haven't really tested it i probably have 100 miles on the lift now um so personally it probably still has to settle some but um, I, I do feel it seems you know I feel a little difference in the ride um, but again like I said um, it could be due to having you know the suspension resettle again so you know we'll see how that does and give an update on that and unfortunately I didn't do a video on the lift install uh, because I was kind of like cutting it close, rushing, because um, we had somewhere to go. Luckily, I was able to get it done like by 2 a.m. and be at the dealer at 8.30 a.m. to have the alignment done. And the good thing about that was I was happy because, you know, originally I guess the alignment is $155. Well, guess what? I did it just in time for the special. Um, and with the special, I paid like half price, so like $88. So that was a plus for me. Appreciate that one. Okay, and another, um, not an issue, but at 42,000 miles, uh, we finally got down to the point of needing to replace the brake pads, the rear brake pads. Only the rear, um, the front seemed fine. I haven't inspected them personally, but um, when I went in for the alignment, they did their inspection and told me that the rear should be replaced um, pretty soon. So um, I'm sure I'll be doing that. After inspection, the fronts are still good, um, which is, I don't know, I, this is my first four wheel drive vehicle, but, um, or all wheel drive vehicle, I should say. And um, I'm used to like worrying about the front brake pads before the rear. So, you know, that's different for me, but you know, brake pads are brake pads. When they're bad, you replace them. So that's what we'll be doing. Um, the tent's been holding up good. I'm happy with it. Um, but I think we are going to go ahead and redo the tent. Go with the ceramic tent to block off all that heat because the Forester, man, that sucker lets in some heat, especially through the front windshield. So um, I, I want to go ahead and do ceramic all the way around. Best case scenario. Um, worst case, I'll just go get clear or very light tent put on the windshield of the ceramic coat um, just to you know help keep that uh, you know that heat from coming in radiating in I know a lot of people have been worried about whether it's going to affect the eyesight um, I've done quite a bit of research and all research is saying that you know eyesight shouldn't be a problem um, people aren't having any problems with it so that should be good all right, so that's where we're at at 42,000 miles. I hope that was uh, informative for you. Um, I tried to go over everything, think of everything I could come up with. I think she's still running strong at 42,000 miles. We haven't hit any major issues, really no issues at all, um, other than the ones I've caused myself. <laughs> Um, like I said earlier, I'm sorry I didn't do the video on the ready lift install. Um, I didn't really have time for it, so hope you guys aren't missing out on that one. Um, if so, maybe, I don't know, we'll do a new one. Um, but if you guys have some ideas of what you would like the next video to be, other than the next mileage update, let me know and we'll do that. I hope to be doing some um, off-roading videos soon. Um, I know we'll be doing a big trip up to Yellowstone, and so we'll definitely get some good footage there. And stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.